Alright, let's look at the back view. I did this clip right here because look at the swing path. So when you start the rocket below the ball and finish above the ball. You start from a high, get under the ball, you make impact and angle and come up going towards your shoulder. And then what happens is that imparts the spin. Look at the impact point on the racket too. It's a really high impact point on the racket and the ball rolls down this frame as you hit it. Okay, and we're gonna look at several angles. I chose the ones I thought were really interesting. Here's a front view. This is a very um, aggressive swing through the ball here. Look at that follow through and goes all the way over. I don't recommend all going all the way over like that with your wrist. It's kind of bad for your wrist. Look at the racket angle and his racket's almost pointed straight down to the ground and flips it all the way over using his wrist. Um, you want to pretend like you're looking at a watch as you do this or you flip your wrist using your whole arm, not just your wrist. It's really bad for your wrist. But see how he flips it all the way over and see the finish? And that gives you massive spin on the ball. But top spin is a combination of going through the ball and coming up on the ball. You go too much up on the ball. And what happens is you get end up with spin but no drive to the ball. Okay, this one has a little bit more drive, and I like showing the girls because girls generally have more technical form. Just a high take back, good shoulder turn, shoulder points to the contact point. R racket is way above her head. Comes into the shot, but look at the angle as she comes into the shot and goes right through it. See right there, elbow stays close to the body. Racket hits lower than the wrist, lower than the ball. You're gonna make impact high on the strings and pull your racket up and through the ball. That imparts the spin we're talking about. That's what I mean by hitting through the ball and imparting the spin. And she has a beautiful follow through. It goes all the way over her shoulder. I like full follow throughs. It, it really relieves a lot of stress to your arm. You know, and, and you have longer swing path and you have more momentum. Okay. And then we do a front view of me. And uh, we want to look at the different angles. Look at the high takeaway right here. And the shoulder turn, weight on my leg and my hips. See how my body is straight too? I'm in a straight line. I'm not bending over. That's important too because you want everything to spin around an axis with your hip being one of the axes that you spin. And you come to this shot and look at the shoulders rotate through the ball and look at the racket ball impact. It's high in the racket and it's going to roll off the strings up and through. Okay. You always want to start the ball racket below the ball and then make impact on the ball and finish it all the way up. I think of it like stairs. Like I, if I'm hitting tops and I, I prep two stairs below the ball, make impact and finish two stairs above the ball. Come up quickly. Look at that quick follow through. One of the big keys to hitting a good top spin shot. Even though I'm off balance here, say I'm putting my weight on my left leg, I'm kind of caught. Look at the racket angle. My hand, the, ra the racket is below my hand. The racket's almost pointing vertically down. I'm going to make impact and I'm going to bring the racket up and through the ball, imparting the spin. I'm not driving the ball. I'm not coming through the ball. I'm coming more up on the ball, brushing it all the way over. You see a follow through. I don't even have a very big follow through. There's a bearish shot on the side angle here. Look at the impact point. Slightly high on the racket. Contact points are in front. And then you pull your racket up on the ball, imparting a spin on the ball. And that gives you the top spin that you were looking for. All the way over. We'll slow it down a lot now. Look at that impact point right there as I come through. We'll look at that again. Start the racket below the wrist. You make impact at the wrist and you follow through above the wrist. See how the swing comes forward and through. And this is the thing I've been talking about. See where the ball is making impact with my racket angle? Slight angle. The ball is going to make impact. It's going to roll along the racket and come off the strings. And that gives you that major top center that we're looking for. And that's what we talk about, about brushing up on the ball and coming through the ball at the same time.